Oh wow, they must be super hyped because this game audio is like crazy loud. Yeah, oh, they were getting too hyped. So right now, uh, you know, Chris T has historically had the hardest time beating a Zangief. He just, he just can't beat Zangief. Snake Eyes smoking him on every week at Wednesday Night Fights. You know, Stupendous, who's immediately to his right, beating his ass, you know, every week. I mean, he's, he's gotten there. Uh, it, it's just that right now, Chris T has, a, it seems to be a hard time fighting against Zangief. And uh, I think it just might be his approach to the matchup. I mean, how should he approach it? Well, I mean, you know, you just want to kind of just footsie him out. You have to out footsie Zangief, you know. He's, he's going to go for the STD, just try to stay away. And, but the thing is, is that Chris T plays an extremely offensive game. Yeah. And he keeps trying to use target combos and, and frame advantage to keep his offense going. But that means that he gets near Zangief. Yeah. And then that's what Zangief needs. Zangief needs you to get near him. So, I mean, I think that's good every once in a while because sometimes you want to establish some offense versus a Zangief because who knows, maybe they have terrible defense. Yes. And they're just kind of banking on you running away the whole time. So you have to show it every once in a while. And I think in this game, it, it works well just because his SPD and EX SPD just, and Lariat aren't really a, a defensive threat as they were in Street Fighter 4. All right, guys, we're sorry that we haven't been competing this match. It looks like Chris T has figured it out. Oh, wait. Did I call it too soon? Okay. Wow. Okay, and he's going to do the EXSPD. All right. What's going to get after this? But look at this, though. Look at Chris T went for it. He had to. Look at his stun gauge. He was almost going to lose that round when he had a perfect. All because he went in too hard. I mean, all it takes is one SPD from him. But right now, see, Chris is playing it right. Keep him away. Stay back. Get, get the life lead and kind of just wait for your spots once you get that. And, and react. Just react. Whoa, that range. Haha. <laughs> that was far. Okay, nice. Don't go in, Chris. There's no real reason to rush him down. Whereas Itabashi, because he's playing Geef, he has to come after Chris. Wow, is that going to work? Too high? No, it, no, no, it works. And that's the round. That is the round. Of the or rather, the game. First game for Chris. And it... Maybe he, figured he, he out played that second round better, I think. That first round, he went in, it was working out, but well, he, he could have backed off a little bit and it almost got himself killed. And that second round, he he stayed away a little bit and picked the spots more. But the thing is, is that uh, Zangief doesn't really have any reversals on his wake up, right? And he saw that there was no meter. He saw that uh, Itabashi had no meter, so rushing him down like that wasn't, wasn't necessarily a bad decision, I think. All right, so right now, Chris playing it cleaner. No anti-air sure you can. That's so weird. He yeah. generally hits that like 100% of the time. But Itabashi trying to figure out his way in. Nice. Wow. Oh, I thought that was about to be something crazy. You could never count Itabashi out, though. This guy is a legend. Oh, he back at it. Oh, my gosh. Great. And now he's close. And he is Chris, 100%. Chris just bet On that wake up uppercut. He just bet it all. He doesn't care. I mean, he's up a game, too. Yeah. He he's up a game. To. He has to. All right, so what, what kind of... Ooh, Itabashi. All right, Itabashi is so smart. EXSPD, what are we going to see next? And he was expecting probably a wake-up uppercut, so he didn't do anything just to get thrown. Oh, that heavy SPD. So much and damage. Mix up. The positioning. Oh, my gosh. Guys. Oh, oh God. That range. Itabashi knows. That's that's a premier Zangief. Now, right hopefully there. for Chris T, that was just a throwaway round. You know, sometimes that stuff happens versus Zangief, where you just guess wrong every time. Hopefully, that's one of those rounds. And right now, Itabashi playing the footsies. Look at that spacing, leaving Chris uncomfortable. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice heavy kick. The heavy kicks. Really nice positioning. You want to get that sure you can. Okay, almost dizzy. But don't get don't get too close to the fire. You might get burned. Oh, oh, that's gonna work. And that's gonna work because he was in the corner. It only works when Zangief is in the corner. Look at that damage. And there's oh, oh. wow. Not, not sure about that V trigger activation. 
And Itabashi playing Zangief so cleanly. So he'd be so hype. He'd be so hype. <laughs> so I think if there was a key learning there, right? If there's a key learning there, if Itabashi has full critical art, don't go in the corner. Just don't do that. Don't yeah. yeah, just stay from stay away from the corner. Because that right there, he lost. 40% instantly. And that was the game. On like a blocked attack. Yeah. And Itabashi was blocked. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not how you start off the game. Oh, Itabashi. Playing so cleanly. I need to see Chris Chris adapt. Gosh! The, okay, there you go. Chris T playing playing the neutral again. Oh no. And the positioning off of EXSPD is too good. Wow, jump back. Medium kick? Okay, good. Chris trying to do too much, trying to get in too much. He's too aggressive, and he, you know, that's what I was talking about. He just needs to go back to that first game where he was able to apply the offense and then got the lead and just kind of let the round figure itself out. And he's not really doing that. All right, there you go. He's playing a calmer game. A calmer game, which is what he needs to do against Itabashi so he doesn't run into random damage. But Itabashi has the eyes, man. He knows how far to SPD. He knows it. Zen. Oh, whoa, the range. This is scary. This, that, that advantage. Nice. Goes for the safer, just regular grab that time. And the punishes from Itabashi are too clean. You see, Chris right now is just uncomfortable entirely. Whoa. Oh, oh no, he confirm though. Oh, no. He didn't have too far. Uh, too far. Oh, no, no, there's no B-trigger yeah. either. Still in this, though. Definitely. But Itabashi, you know, he has a full V-trigger. He has meter. It could look real bad for Chris. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that. This is, this is what you have to do. You just have to play it slowly. Oh, EX Fireball. I don't know why, but go ahead. No. Oh, you see the knees. You see the knees. You have to back back. Ooh, just get away. Just get away. All right. Itabashi, though, closing in. Oh, my gosh. That should be it. Scoops him up. And I... Chris T was looking... I, I mean, it looked like he was going to take that pretty convincingly. I mean, the first game, I mean, he just wailed on Itabashi. But the thing, but that's the thing, you can't count out Itabashi. And I feel like with people saying, oh, Zangief's not that good, uh, blah, 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 blah. The, the thing is, you don't, then that dissuades others from trying to use Zangief. And then you have less Zangiefs making up your player base. So and then, now you have the advantage because they don't know the matchup. Exactly. Now no, nobody knows how to fight him. So, anywho.